Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the CRUD creating the REST API with the Node.js, TypeScript, MySQL and the TypeORM. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So let me close my terminal first. Okay, and let's create the project from the scratch. So first make directory for the TypeScript MySQL CRUD. So this is the directory has been created. Let's quit this Postgres because we don't require it right now. Next process is just go to that directory. Okay, so here we go with the directory. Now we have to create a Node.js project with the help of the npm init y which, which will create the packet.json file. Okay, let me open this one also. So I think this needs to be, let's open a new one. Okay, so here you can see that packet.json is added. Next step is we have to go with the node mode. So you have to create the first the TS configuration file. So generate the TS config JSON file to configure the TypeScript for your project with the help of this command. So just add it. Okay. So this is added and you can do the necessary changes. So I'm using my previous files, whatever I have used in my TS config. Okay. Just copy this. I'm adding into our code. Okay, so here I rest of the things I don't required so you can configure it accordingly. This is done. What will be the next step? Configure the node moon. So I'm going to configure the node moon. So here let's install the node moon. Let's configure this one with the help of this. Okay, so here we go with the files. This is done. Let's go to the packet.json and add the code over here. Sorry, this is the full script part. So just paste it. And here index.js is there. So we need to add it over index.js file. Okay, so app.js is replaced with index.js. Then start here app.ts not index.ts file, which is our development index.ts okay this is basically to ensure the app is built before start this is es lane run the testing run the watch node generate the coverage report okay so this all had done just give me a second okay just remove this one save this okay done next step this is configuration file right so this is the project folder root structure so this is source controllers entities routes index package and ts config so first we will create a folder source so here we need to create a folder new folder source here we require the controllers so first we create the controllers then we have a user controller.ts file. So we'll create the user controller.ts and entities. So we'll create the entities in the source. Then we have a user.ts entity and create a new file over here. Then we have a routes. Then in the source directory, we will create the route section. Then we have a user route.ts. We will add the user route.ts and index.ts. So in the source, we will create a new file which name is index.ts file. Okay. So first we will go with the user entity we have to create source entity. So this is the user which requires the name and the email. Okay, so let's add it. The user entity. This is added next step would be the controller part so let's create the controller 
so this is controller so let's add it controller section okay now we have the routes part so let's add the route code over here so this is routes we have the routes user routes okay next step is the index.ts file so let's add the index.ts also So where is index.ts? I think we have to install some of the packages which haven't I installed. So let's install this one. This is missing this one. Let's install this. So here we go with this one and let's install the packages. So MySQL type we don't require, so leave it, okay? So don't need to install the types MySQL too, okay? So rest of the process we have done, I think configured. Let's do the configuration part. So here we have the type ORM.ts file. So I'm going to use this one. So let's copy this and create a new file in the source. We will create type ORM.ts let's paste this and here we need to change the it's mysql okay so here it's to be my uh, i have the code i guess let me check basically control y mysql mysql i need to add so where we go with our code this is the code No, this is the not the file. We have the second one. Okay, so this is our Postgres part. Okay, so we have added the MySQL. So here we have the MySQL CRUD. MySQL here into add the MySQL also. And here the username. So username is PHP my admin. And uh, the password is admin123 hash and the local host I think it's 33064 port. and let's create a database REST API for that one. So here we go with this one. So let me create look a local host PHP slash adminer. So here we have a PHP my admin the password. Okay, let's create the database of the REST API. Save it. Okay, REST API is there. So where is REST API? Create the new REST API too. Okay. So we will add the database configuration here, REST API too. Okay, done. Let's see. And here we have an index. I think there is something error over here. Let's solve it. Express is not installed. Find the module Express. Okay, let's check. Express. So I think. So what we have to npm install Express. Install Express. Okay, then I think we should go with this one. I think it has it doesn't add it right now. Just copy this, add this here. So I think now it's done. Okay, and the next step this is complete. I think then now these files are errors resolved. There is only one error over here, so that should be resolved. What it is, it should be string has no the common type path okay fine got it so what we have to do it's not the get repository so we were going to import import connect db 
from the type ORM and here just we need to add the connection part connect DB dot gets this one this first part is okay then again the second one this is again okay third one connect DB dot uh, this is this is configuration file right so here we need to go with this one and here we are we have we need to add where ID is to be ID so I think that uh, there should be like this give me a second I have used this here so this is like this curly braces okay There should be a pass in so this needs to be placed again in here also so here we have a connect db dot and here the same thing which we have done right now okay this is done okay so the all the errors is all in the typescript so let's run this one and let's see that the tables are created or not let's have a look so npm run dev for the node one okay let's see data source has been initialized okay and type or no connection options were found in the ORM configuration file something missed over here so let's see what exact okay the index.ts file so this is not like this so we have to add import um, connect DB so that it will this do the this one part so this way to don't require it this also don't require this also don't require okay this is done and here we need to initialize connected db path so that connection successfully that base created all everything is done okay so let's initialize this one so i think address port is already in use make it again the uh, 5000 okay so let's run this now you can see what it says Data table is DB schema and everything. I think it's worked. Let's see. It's there or not. Users. So users table is created. Okay. Let's add some of the data. So let's go to the postman. We have the first one that is post. Let's add the users table. So here we have the first record. So it's added. Let's have a look on that one. It's added. Let's add one more record. Developer 2 and uh, here developer to send it and here you can see added okay so let's get the records also so get the records from here we will get the records then if you want to put update the records with id1 okay so make it like a developer new junior something okay just update it update it let's see the database so you can see that emails these are this is updated if i want to go with the delete part you can also go the delete and makes the id let's delete it okay so record one is deleted two is left okay so this is the full french crud let's dive into the code level and understand the code part okay so structure i have already explained now we are going to step by step the configurations files index controllers entities and the routes so first we have the import the reflect metadata express type ORM and the routes then we have the port and then connection DB for the connection part then we are using express JSON to accept the post request of the JSON then we have a routes user routes and the server is listening on which port user server then we have the API's post create a new user get all users update user delete user okay on the behalf of the IDs so here we have the router express create get all update and delete from the controller so first create one so this is connected DB get repository user repository dot create record request body okay and then save that repository if any error occurs it will throw the error internal server error next we have we have the get all users so this is the user repository you find if the user not find you can throw the error no no this in this not it will just find the all records and just show as a json okay if any issue occur then internal server error 
then we have our update user here you have to need to find first the record if the user is not fine then user not found else you you need to update that part okay request the body and merge that and save that user and return the updated user okay next we have the last one that is the delete section so you require the params that is requested in the body this is called the params okay so the, this is this this is what we got, got with the help of the requires request dot params okay so requesting the params and uh, here we are finding first in the record in the table if it is exist then we will remove that user from the db sorry table if it is not then we will throw there that user is not found okay you can also check with like this also so if i just put the user which don't have the entity like six what it says user not found okay the same thing so all the error everything is handled over here so this is the full flag i think the route part is done the only the user index i think it is the very simple one which we have the id incremented name and the email this is the full fledged crud operations you can say about the type orm mysql node.js and the typescript any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day